more time for this series. Still with a chance for somebody. I do, yeah. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, what about the two that you turned down? You turned down number two. That was our Wendy from Southampton. Come in, Wendy. <laughs> Miss Phil, all that hair. Wow. And that dress, look at this tiny six foot three. Oh, Wendy. Oh, never mind, sir. Are you right gutted? I'm right gutted. <laughs> oh, never mind. Wish you all the best. <laughs> Through your mind now, Clive. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you also turned down number three. How could you? That was our Jane from South Yorkshire. Come in, Jane. Difficult. But here is your blind day for this evening, Clive. Yes, you chose number one. That was Claire from Berkshire. Come in, Claire. <laughs> Claire from Berkshire, what do you think? First impressions, Claire. Lovely. Lovely. Yes. <laughs> Tell him what you do. Um, play rugby. Do you? Uh, <laughs> I was only joking about the week on, isn't it? <laughs> oh, but you're very fit. You like fit ladies, I'll and do, she I'll is do. certainly fit. Are you going to be? Are you going to pick a very fit date? I think the lady should pick. All right, Clive. Oh, thank well, you. Oh, the Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what was going to say? Exactly. Oh, a oh. trip to St Louis. Wow. A trip to St Louis. You're yeah. going to the cosmopolitan city of St. Louis in the good old U.S. of A. <laughs> yes, you'll ride to the top of the famous Gateway Arch, cruise oh. on a riverboat, and get your kicks on Route 66. <laughs> and it says here, let's hope you have a really jazzy Ooh. time and don't end up oh, singing wow. the blues. That can't be bad, <laughs> can it? Good one. Have a great time oh, in St. Louis. Much. I wish I was going with you, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Clive and Claire. <laughs> See you next year. <laughs> well, now, on last week's show, Mark chose Caroline and they took that long, hard flight all the way to Montreal in Canada. This will do this. Can we get one blanket, maybe, that would just go over his mouth? No. Oh, okay. Cheek. Oh, <laughs> What do you think of this, sir? Um, uh, different. It is called love. And what was that in English? It means man. And I tell you what, it's got the biggest nuts I've ever really seen. Snog last night. Oh, you bloody liar. You liar! <laughs> All of England can see up your shorts.
Time to go home then? I don't want to go home, Mark. I'm afraid we're going to have to. Can't we just stay? Just for a few we're days. We're really going home. Mark, it's been lovely. I don't want to go Mounties' motto is we always get our man, but by the end of their date, did Caroline get her man? And did Mark get his woman? Let's find out. The first impressions of Caroline were that she was obviously very lovely looking. She had a pretty face, but I was a bit concerned about the 40s hairdo. And I'm secretly hoping she wouldn't have it that way for the entire date. When I saw Mark for the first time, he was shorter than I expected. And I didn't notice his face because I couldn't take my eyes off his red T-shirt. Caroline is top of the Premier League when it comes to talking. The only time she was quiet was when she had to shut her mouth on the rabbits to stop the water getting in. And that was quite nice. Whenever we were out, it felt very natural for me to grab Mark's hand. And I don't think he minded because he never said anything. The worst thing about Caroline was probably the way she uh, continually fell asleep. Uh, it did make me think I must be boring her. There was never a dull moment on the date. Mark was great company and he had a lot of interesting things to say. It would have been nice to kiss Caroline on the date because I do fancy her. Uh, maybe if I stick around, she'll come around to the idea someday. During the date, Mark asked me several times for a snog. Although I was tempted, I didn't do anything because I want to get to know him a little bit better before anything romantic happens. But if he asked me again, I think I'd say yes, and I hope I haven't missed my chance. I would like to see Caroline again, and hopefully it could be more than just good friends, but that would depend on her. I've got Mark's telephone number, and I'd like to see him again, but I won't be doing any of the chasing because I don't want to scare him off. If I had to change anything about Caroline, it would be her address. I would be happier if it was closer to home. Both Caroline and Mark, you said an awful lot there on film, but you didn't say an awful lot about romance like that to each other, did you? I mean, why are you so slow, I didn't Mark? get a chance to mention romance. You know, they say that God made Adam first so he could get a word in, and it's true. <laughs> it is true. <laughs> So how could I get a... I didn't get a chance. Well, you did enough talking then. You you did say... Talking did all the time. It, it, it fancies you. I know. You know? <laughs> now I do. Now I suppose do. that made it obvious. Yeah. <laughs> Is it true that the only time you shut your gob was when you were on the rapids, like you said? The water was coming down. But he can talk, Silla. He can talk. You know, maybe that's... Maybe that's why I like him, you know? <laughs> oh. Well, no, did you want it? Up. I mean, when you were joking there on film about the snogging bit, you, you had a good snog one night. Oh, I mean, did me you snog or didn't you snog? No. No. She wouldn't let me. No. But I didn't. I didn't just go up and go. Hey, do you fancy a snog? Like. Yeah. <laughs> she, made it, she made it sound like Caroline made it sound like uh, you know he asked me several times for a snog. I didn't go up and go. Well, well Caroline, what about a snog? <laughs> more romantic than yeah, that, you but know? on that, on that first was... night, you said, um, what was that you said about? If you have a kiss, then you, you know, you know if, you know if there's going to be more to it, or something like that. Some big spiel he was giving me, so no, that... But no, no, I just thought, you know, it's Brian Day and all that, you know, and he might just be, he might just be saying it, you know, just to, to look good and that, and win we, the audience over, and we went, but I... If, it, if I thought it was genuine, I might have kissed him. <laughs> <laughs> now, Caroline, is this all one-sided, or do you fancy him back? Yeah, I fancy him. I think he knows I fancy him. Oh. Well, make it obvious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. My mum wants to know. <laughs> I do happen to know that since the date, you have made a visit over here, haven't yeah. you? And met all her family. I let him stay, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. it's like, well, I was just testing him. You know, a girl can't just, you know, just just let anyone into her life. So I thought, I'll just, I'll just see how he gets on with my brothers, you know, and that to sound him out. And he had to meet my mum, yes. you know, and he passed that test. They all, they all really like him. Yeah. They love him, in fact. <laughs> have you invited Caroline over it, to Of course. Time? She can come any time. Yeah. Are you going to go? Yeah. Yes. Now, you never ever kissed on the date. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, you know, just to put his mum out of her misery, I think you uh, should have a, a little smack on tonight's blindfold. Hey. <laughs> 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 
think you make a lovely couple and I'm going to watch this space all right yeah you ladies do. and gentlemen <laughs> wish them well our Mark and Caroline this week I'm afraid but join us again next week to see how Katrina and Matthew and Clive and Claire enjoy their dates together and of course we'll be arranging some more blind dates so until then ta-ra everyone ta-ra <laughs>